Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and this is my setup for 2015. Whoa, 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 hold up. Yes, I know you guys are eager to see the setup video, but I've got some information to tell you guys. Now, I'm currently in the process of moving house, which means this will be the last setup video you will see in this room. Yes, I know, I know, it's very sad. You guys absolutely love this room. Uh, you left the last two setup videos with over a million views. Um, these videos have been talked about on websites. My setup's been talked about on forums. Um, it's just incredible the amount of support you guys leave on these videos with all the like ratings and comments and sharing the videos. Uh, with your friends but yes guys I'm currently moving house so this will be the last setup video you see of this room so I just want to take the time to thank you guys for all the awesome support like ratings uh, and comments I wouldn't be able to do this YouTube thing uh, every day of my life without the awesome support that you guys give me so thank you very much for that so while I've got all of your guys attention I just want to introduce you guys to my brand new YouTube channel which I'm going to be launching which is going to be my vlog channel now on there I'm going to be doing videos of me moving house uh, of me setting up my whole room uh, in the new house taking you guys on some behind the scenes videos of how I create my YouTube videos on this main channel so guys definitely look in the description and make sure you are subscribed to my vlog channel uh, and this channel itself so you guys can definitely stay up to date on all the content I'm going to creating whether it's going to be funny videos or actual serious videos behind the scenes uh, of me setting up my setup now I've also got a technology channel which you guys can go ahead and subscribe to where I do reviews on different pieces of technology which I think can benefit your guys live so make sure you subscribe to all three of my YouTube channels they will be down in the description now while you're down there I'm also gonna leave a few links down there to where you guys can earn a little bit of free extra money uh, if you guys would like that to, uh, to to buy products for you guys own setups which is awesome so I'm gonna leave those links down behind there and while we're you know going around the setup um, I'll, I'll tell you guys um, if I've got any uh, like 5% off codes for any of the products in the setup so you guys can get a cheeky little bit of money off if you want to buy uh, buy anything that you see in my room courtesy uh, of the setup video so with all of that out the way uh, if you guys are ready let's get on with the setup tour right so this is what I like to call my uh, selfie mirror obviously because I'm that much of a puff so yeah this is my landing guys as you can see uh, we've got some stairs coming up coming up just down there um, coming up all the way up here and then as you can see we've got a big long mirror so I can check what I look like before I go out make sure I'm not, not looking like too too much of an idiot and then I've got uh, just a few towels and clothes and things on there and uh, so this is like my little balcony um, I've got weights there when I can't make it to the gym um, and that is that there, that bag there. This bag is a, uh, a North Face bag, and this is the bag I take uh, take to the gym because uh, it's waterproof, and I take this whenever whenever I go anywhere, anywhere really, because it's just a waterproof bag. Um, so it's when I'm like going on trips and stuff. I took this to Leeds Festival this year. Um, yeah, Leeds Festival was awesome. Thank you for asking. Um, and anyway, yeah. So moving on, uh, this is my old surround sound speaker set. Now this is a Boston Acoustics Soundware SE. Um, I think you guys must be able to see it in there somewhere. You can see the Boston Acoustics there. So that is my old surround sound. Obviously five satellite speakers um, and the one subwoofer just there. That is on my balcony because I recently replaced that uh, that set of speakers with a new set of speakers which I'll be showing you guys in the setup. So I'm going to show you guys my ensuite first because obviously this is my last ever setup video uh, in this house so I want to make sure I'm covering uh, everything that is well mine. So there is my shower. I'm trying to nail focus. I've got a new lens. I'll be able to tell you guys in a second. But there is my shower. Uh, got no towel. Uh, my towel's actually on there drying uh, because I was at the gym this morning. So uh, yeah, I've got no towel. Uh, there is my wash bin. I don't really know what happens in there. Uh, I just put my clothes in there and then magically they appear back in my in my wardrobe again. So uh, it's quite a cool little device that they come back all nice and clean. I've uh, got my punch bag uh, just there. The reason it's behind there is because I hang it on my pull-up bar. Um, I hang it on the pull-up bar and, and uh, pull some shapes uh, there. And uh, oh, let me show you guys this. If you guys are looking for 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 some new shower gel, I really recommend getting the uh, original source, uh, real forty thousand, whatever it's called. Makes your balls tingle. If you're into that sort of shit, then uh, then you'll like it. No, I'm not. I'm 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 I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not gay or anything. I'm just I'm just joking. This is this is my this is my this is my stuff. So I've got my got my razor shaver doodly there, a Gillette Fusion thing. And then I've got all, all my stuff. And if you guys are wondering what I use to do my hair, it's uh, it's got to be 
it's got to be, got to be, obviously. Um, just got uh, face shit there and my deodorant. And that's not my favourite deodorant, actually. My favourite deodorant is... Oh, OK, I must have run out. Well, there's my toothbrush. The reason it's got tape around it is because I threw it at a wall when I was angry and now it doesn't work anymore. So, yeah, the electric bit doesn't work. You've just got to use it as, like, a normal brush. If that makes any sense. And there's the... Uh, there's the bog, toilet, whatever you call it. And then this is the this is the camera setup that I'm rocking. So I'm using a um, I'm using a Canon 650D here with a big big old big old flash LED light on the top of it so you guys can see everything. And maybe if I swap that around you guys can see yourselves. I don't know though. There you go. Um, yeah, so and, and and the lens is the uh, the Canon, I believe it's the Canon. A 1.8 28mm lens, um, absolutely gorgeous lens, would really recommend it if you're into YouTube and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is the landing and stuff, let's let's move on to the actual setup itself, let's do this thing. So, starting out at my door, uh, as you can see I've got loads of stickers on here, these haven't changed since last year, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not as big as a sticker fan uh, as I was last year, you know, stickers are... Now for little boys, now I'm a, now I'm a big boy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is my pull-up bar. Um, I did have one on here last year, yes, as you can see. Uh, but I've taken that around to the new house just so I can pull some shapes when I am um, when I'm at the new house. Uh, but anyway, let's let's open the door and uh, get in here and give you guys a little bit of a pan round as best I can of the room from when you walk in. Look at that lens flare. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So. Quite a few things have changed and quite a few things haven't changed. I'm just going to take you guys around the room um, as and when, uh, as and when, as and when I can, which is going to be right now. Let's do it. Let's start with what's down here. Oh, cheeky stuff. Right. So, as you guys know, I like to do, I like to do a setup video every year. Um, and what flies around at Christmas other than clothes? Obviously, chocolate. Okay. So I've got a, a load of chocolate. I've got like. What are those? Heroes, and then we've got Terry's Chocolate Oranges, and then we've got Chocolate Santas, and Thorntons, and, 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 and more, whatever they're called, celebrations. And I've got a load, load of speaker cable here, because um, I'm currently wiring all the speakers in the wall at the new house. Um, so I need, I've need i just ordered some more speaker cable, which, which allows me to do that. And then this is my daily driver bag. Uh, I use this when I go to events to meet you guys, like Eurogamer uh, or i54. If you guys are going to i54, then... Uh, Look out for me, I'm going, but yes, this is the bag I like to take with me, it's just a super dry bag. I've had it for ages, but it's, it's holding up really well, and it looks looks really nice. Uh, so, yeah, that's that little stash of stuff down there, it's there because I've got nowhere else to put it, pretty much. So that's the story behind that, but yes, this is what is known as a business card here in England. So this, these are my business cards, uh, I've got loads of them in there. If you guys know I own my own business, making promotional videos and websites and different things like that, you can check it out, it's uh, www.mars.media. Um, so yeah, that is that is the little weird bit in the middle. Let's move on to the camera stuff and, and, and different things, let's go. So, this is all my camera stuff. I've got a lot of camera stuff this year because, as you guys know, I study media uh, in college. Um, and now I've just opened up my own business, doing camera work and promotional videos and different things like that. So this is my this is my main tripod. This is my video head uh, tripod. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure how you say that there, but it's the Arena Pro tripod. Um, get some really smooth pan shots with that. Uh, really, really, really enjoy using that tripod. And then uh, just behind that, we've got the little little, little Harmer tripod, which has got on it my uh, my slider rig. So what a slider does is pretty much you mount your camera on this bit here and then you can move this now nice and steady um, along here. You'll probably see some shots of me using this in this setup video um, but this is the Coolatron from Amazon and um, it was really cheap but it, it works really well and I'm really impressed with it so uh, definitely a good buy there. If you guys want to buy anything in this setup video um, look in the description there'll be links to buy them uh, UK and US I'll try my best to provide both links um, and if I can offer you guys like 5% off or 10% off or whatever then uh, that will also be stated down in the description Just use my code um, it will be next to the items but yes anyway this is my big the big daddy softbox this is what lights up people's faces when I'm doing interviews and different things like that um, so we set that up plug it in and it emits a nice warm light um, the bulbs in here are huge like the bulbs in, I'm not even joking they're huge um, so yeah that they, they emit a nice a nice warm light to light up people's faces and bring people's colors out in their faces so that's what a softbox does um, and obviously it's got a, a big arm there and you, you can extend it to like four four or five meters high um, so yeah behind all of this this is all of my camera stuff so 
There is my Tamron 18 to 200 lens. Uh, I recorded last year's setup video using this lens, so if you want to see last year's setup video, there will be a link on the screen right now. We'll check in the description, and you guys can watch last year's setup video after this one to see what's changed. Um, here is just a pair of of binoculars. I don't really know how I have, why I have these. Um, an ND filter, which blocks out light. Lens caps and different things like that. The old Canon AE-1, this is a discontinued camera, very, very expensive nowadays. You cannot uh, pick one of these up in the shop. I could get a lot of money for that if I wanted to sell it, uh, but I'm going to keep that because it's, uh, it's, it's been handed down from generation to generation, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, that is a load of, load of memory cards down there. A load of memory cards, uh, you've got to have them. A GoPro for your GoPro, so you can stick it out the window when you're in the car or whatever. You know what a GoPro is, you put your, you put your GoPro on it and that's it. Um, a dolly, now this is this was before I had my slider, which is what, what this does is does what a slider does, but uh, does a worse job of it because it's on wheels. Um, and then that is a little flip video camera that I've had for absolutely years. Um, a GoPro mount here, which is chilling there. GoPro sticker on the wall. And then there is the GoPro 4 housing on, on a time-lapse uh, timer. So what this does is you actually twist that round and it slowly rotates the GoPro uh, in an hour, a full 360 degrees. Um, so you can get some awesome time-lapse video with that. Um, really good for really good for sort of night lapses and things like that of the, of the, of the sun and the moon and different things like that. So really cheap. You can pick them up on eBay. Uh, really cheap. But yeah, this is an old camcorder which I've lost the battery to, don't know where it is. And then there is one of the satellite speakers for the new monitor audio surround sound that I have, which is, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, here is a portable speaker and another portable speaker. You've got, you've got to have portable sound when you're going, uh, when you're going about your business. Um, but these are my two worst portable speakers. I've got a better one that's overcharging near my desk, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But for now, let's move on to my entertainment setup. So... This is my entertainment setup. As you guys know, I like to entertain myself as much as I like to game over there at the command station. So, this is this is what I'm rocking uh, at my entertainment center. As you can see here, I have my little mini sofa. Now this also turns into a bed because I usually have a lot of guests over here, other YouTubers and different things like that, and friends and family. Also, an air mattress just there as well to know I do have a lot of people staying over in the pad. We like to call this room the pad. Um, so yeah, here's my main settee and obviously it turns into a bed. Blah -de -blah, -de blah So, I'll sit here. As you can see, you are confronted by a nice, big, hefty 42-inch uh, Sony TV. Now, the model will be linked in the description. This TV is now one year old, but this is, this is, and I'm not just saying this because it's my, I've got this TV, but I've never seen a 1080p panel um, that can produce such a sharp, uh, a picture that's as sharp as this, this one can. It's just incredible. I don't understand how it does it. Um, at 42 inches, you'd think the pixels will be a little bit blown at 1080p, but it's just incredible what it can do, which it's just, I just, I love this panel so much. It's super thin um, as well. Crazy, crazy, super thin. Uh, as you can see, get the bright, get it in focus there. So yeah, that's the TV. And as you can see behind it, we've got some nice accent lighting. Now this is the Philips Hue system. Now if you guys don't know what Philips Hue is, I've got another one up there. As you can see, let's try and focus into it. Just there, and another one over there. You can see it just there. It's pointing on the wall at my guns. And the Philips Hue system pretty much is you put this thing onto your home network. You connect this little hub into your home network. Try and pull focus here again. This is why I like, to, I like to focus manually, you see. So, there we go. You plug this into your home network. As you can see, I've got a switch, uh, switch just there. Um, a, 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 an eight port switch, which is connected to my home network. Um, and this is the Philips Hue controller. So what this does is this wirelessly connects to all of your Philips Hue lights. And what you guys can do is physically change the color of your lights uh, and turn them on and off and do different patterns and make them dance to your music from anywhere in the world. You control them on your iPhone, on your iPad. I'll give you guys a little bit of a demonstration of that. Um, in, in a little bit, but you can, you can, you can do it from anywhere uh, on your phone. You can make make them change color. It's, pre it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So moving on, um, this is the subwoofer for the uh, for the monitor audio system that I have now. It's insane. This subwoofer is huge, but it, it's it's insane, right? So inside here, you've got a normal subwoofer this side. Right, of the, uh, of the of the of this unit, and then on this side, you've got what's called a radiator. Now, a radiator physically makes a subwoofer shake from side to side, and the subwoofer obviously makes your low notes. So, what this subwoofer can do is literally make this room shake, not with sound, but by physical moving parts inside the subwoofer. 
So when you when you get those explosions, the room is physically it's just crazy. I don't understand how they do it. It was a very 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 expensive sound system this, um, but it's definitely definitely worth the investment if you um, if you enjoy your films and music very loud. Uh, obviously, these are the satellite speakers. So obviously there you've got your center over by the computer. There's another one just over there and then over there in the corner you can see it's hanging up behind the next to the guns on the wall and then just over there you can see there's one right at the back obviously it's a 5.1 system so you've got five channels and one subwoofer now driving these uh, is the Denon amplifier now last year uh, I had a Yamaha amplifier which blew up yes it blew up literally it blew up it blew up on me because I, I used to love like my music too loud so what I thought I'd do is get a new amplifier now, I, ed I educated you guys last year on what these things do, uh, but I'm going to do it again just in case there's anyone new here um, who doesn't know what an amplifier is. So what this does is it drives your speakers, so it connects to all the speakers and gives the speakers power to run. Uh, and also, as you can see that it says Apple on the screen. And this is because the Apple TV is on my TV. So if I was to, 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 to twist this this way, it will then say Xbox One. And then my Xbox One will come on the TV. And as you can see, I've got an Xbox One in there, so on and so forth. So what you do is you plug all your devices into this. We've got a Skybox, we've got the we've got the Xbox, we've got the Xbox normal Xbox in there, and a load of other games and stuff. Um, and, and and then this, all you do to change the channel is uh, is you just change change it there on the little knob and then it comes on the TV and what it does is it pretty much it just sends one clean HDMI signal up to the TV uh, and just makes it insane quality so that that is the job of an amplifier um, did I miss anything off in here obviously we've got the Philips Hue controller we've got the network switch if you guys are wondering about the network speeds we've got a business line coming to the house which gets one ping I shit you not one ping uh, I have tweeted out my <laughs> my speeds before uh, my Twitter's at Mars Bar Gaming yeah one ping uh, 20 meg down and 10 meg up which is slow on the download but um, that's all we really need to be honest uh, there is the there is the connect sensor uh, in, all, in all its glory the Apple TV just under there just chilling uh, I, all I use this for is for streaming music from my phone and things uh, controllers and then this this little device here, this little thing is awesome. This is called a DAC. Now, this is the FIO uh, E17. I've done a review of this product uh, on my tech channel. Uh, there'll be a link on the description now, uh, on the screen now, or look in the description. But what this does is you plug your phone into it, where you usually plug your headphones in, and then you plug your headphones into the top of this, on the headphone port there. And what this does is it makes it sound insane. Like this thing can drive my headphones really loud and in, in, it just makes the quality much better. That's as much as I can say. If you guys are interested in it, then I have done a separate video on my tech channel. Uh, as I've said, link on screen or in the description. But yes, an Xbox controller. Xbox Xbox 360 controller, I think that is. Yes, I believe it is. Uh, my Xbox One controller. I don't even know where it is. I think it's in the drawer somewhere. But uh, yes, this is that, that's been the sort of entertainment bit of, of, of the setup, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Obviously, I've got my bin there that says "dump the junk" because I am one cool motherfucker. So moving on to the bit that all you guys have been waiting for, the gaming setup. Now, yes, as you can see, I've got three monitors up front and centre. I'll go over these first. So these are the Asus 24-inch monitors. These are their flagship one millisecond response time monitors. Uh, crazy thin, crazy, crazy thin monitors. As you can see, I've got three of them there. I know I need a bigger desk. I'm, I'm getting a whole new desk built for me uh, when we move into the new house. As I've said, make sure you subscribe to the tech channel. Uh, and my vlog channel for all the videos of me moving into the new house. It's going to be insane. But as you can see, I love uh, I, I love having three screens because it it uh, ups your production value. So what you can do is, is 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 you can have one thing open on here. So as you can see, I've I've got I've got my Twitter open. You guys can follow me if you would like to. Try and focus it. There you go. At Mars Bar Gaming, seven thousand followers. And then the main YouTube channel. Mars Bar Gaming, this is what you're watching this channel on, this video on right now. And then, here is my uh, my vlogging channel, it's only got one video on it, one video, which I uploaded yesterday, uh, I uploaded it 22 hours ago to be precise, it's got 4,000 views, which is crazy, and we've got 2,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe to the, uh, to the vlogging channel, this is the channel that I'm going to be uploading all the behind the scenes videos and things of me moving into the new house, etc. Um, so, yes, I, I like having three screens because... 
uh, it boosts productivity. You can do three things at once. I could have uh, Photoshop open, editing a thumbnail. I could have uh, my Twitter feed open, and then I can also have my editing suite open, editing a video for you guys. So it's really, really, really cool. I don't think I couldn't really justify getting any more monitors than three. I think three is quite enough. Um, but yeah, I do. I do really enjoy having three monitors, and it's. Uh, and it's 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 really cool. I really enjoy it. It's a different experience. So uh, here is my webcam. It's just a Logitech webcam. It's just a bog standard webcam. Just it's it's, just, it's really it's really good uh, for doing for doing the odd video. But I wouldn't get this if you were relying on a webcam like uh, like PewDiePie or, or a gaming YouTuber would do. I wouldn't recommend this webcam. I recommend getting a better one. But this does the job for now. Um, anyway, this is my keyboard. I did have the Razer. Uh, the mechanical Razer keyboard. I forgot. I forget the name of this one. Actually, I'm going to lift it up and have a look. This is the Razer Deathstalker keyboard, um, and the reason I got this one uh, is because um, it is because the mechanical Razer keyboard that I smashed. Um, video link right here if you if you if you want if you want that. Um, but yeah, I smashed it. Um, this this is this is because it doesn't it doesn't make any sound, which which is which is what I wanted. Um, so yeah, and then this is the my Onyx mouse. I've done I've done a video on this on the on the tech channel. So again, video link on the screen or in the description, uh, which is which is uh, my my new favorite my new favorite mouse. As you can see, it's got a 7,000 DPI sensor on it, which is which is fairly good for for a mouse of this size. And it's it's huge. It's it like you can like do do all of you do all of your fingers and stuff on there, which is uh, which is really nice. And then carrying that, we've got the see if I can focus this. I think it's called the the rab <laughs> rabbit rab I'm not sure what my mouse pad's called. It's by Razer, anyway. Um, yeah. So underneath the monitors, as you can see there, we've got the Kingston memory card reader. As you can see, I'm in and out my computer with memory cards because I do loads of video work for companies and different things like that. So uh, you need a good memory card reader. This one's USB three, so it's very fast. And it's uh, it's very good, very swag. So behind there, as you can see, we've got the other speaker for the for the um, surround sound. Bose Soundlink Mini. I was telling you guys about uh, portable sound. The Bose Soundlink Mini is definitely the king of um, portable sound. So yeah, Ashray 50 headset and base station, and then the Rode NT USB microphone. I've done a video review of this on the channel, and you guys can get five percent off using the code in the description uh, if you would like to. Now that is a back massager thingy. I don't know. It's not mine. Um, and this is my GT Omega. My my pride and joy sat here while I'm gaming my GT Omega chair. Now uh, GT Omega sent this out to me uh, to do a video review on and they've also given you guys, the people that watch my videos, 5% off this chair using the code in the description down below. So make sure you use my link in the description and the code. I believe these guys ship worldwide but these chairs are freaking awesome and I, and I love them. I just, I just, just love them. They're, they're, they're just, they're just like the best chairs you can buy for gaming. Like no joke. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the setup. I've got just a, an iPhone 5C there. This, this phone just runs. All this phone does is run the fan Snapchat for you guys. So, so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all that phone does. If you want to add my fan Snapchat, then it's Marzi Snaps. Link in the description <laughs> or on screen now. Uh, there is my, there are my car keys. I drive a Mini Turbo. Uh, if you didn't know that, and I've got big fan of. Uh, Big fan of what? What's that? What's Los Palos? It's uh, Breaking Bad, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got there's my keys, um, and then and then there's my computer. I think the last thing, the last thing of the setup. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing actually. This remote controls that one just there. There it is. It controls the LEDs around the room. It controls all the LEDs. Um, except from the Philips Hue lights, which are controlled by my phone, and I'm going to end up replacing all the LEDs with Philips Hue LEDs, so everything can be controlled by the phones and things like that wherever you are in the world, which is which is cool. So uh, yes, that was that. Um, here is is some candy. There, underneath there, is a parking ticket for seventy-five pounds because I was parked where I shouldn't be and I got prosecuted for it. There's an extension cable which is running the third monitor because I didn't have enough plugs over here, and there is a lava lamp. So this is my computer. If you guys are wanting to know the specs of it, then I have done a video uh, on my tech channel. There'll be a link in the description uh, or on the screen now. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. But there is two one terabyte hard drives on there with a load of client work and videos for you guys that need to be uploaded. You need to have a load of space when you're in this in this uh, sort of sort of state when you're doing video work all the time. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Let's move on.
So moving on to all the miscellaneous items, this is my uh, Phantom, my DJI Phantom uh, with custom carbon grips on there. As you can see, we're looking snazzy with the custom carbon grips. So I actually don't have this little device uh, for pleasure. Um, I, I, this is uh, part of my business. This is what I do for a living. So as you can see, I've got a load of batteries uh, up there. I've actually got a battery charger just on the settee, just there uh, with a battery on charge. I've got some Lacoste aftershave and stuff on there. But anyway, back to the main show. So this is the DJI Phantom and it is a quadcopter. And underneath here I have the Zenmuse HD 3D gimbal. Now what this does is on this gimbal you put in a GoPro. In my case I'm using the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. That sits in there and the gimbal pretty much make sure the camera stays really steady when the drone's flying uh, and what this can do uh, is is you can get aerial shots for different for weddings and different types of things you can get family portraits of houses um, cars going down roads and any advertising that any anyone needs pretty much this drone can get any shot imaginable it's it's crazy uh, and the power of the GoPro Hero 4 recording at 30 fps in 4k is is incredible it's just incredible there is a controller for it right there uh, and there is a pair of fat shark goggles. Now, what you do is you put these on your over your eyes, and you can see um, what what the what the camera sees as you're flying. So, pretty much, what this does is it puts like a 50-inch screen out in front of you when you've got the goggles on, and you can see what you're looking at. And uh, you can actually tilt the camera down when you're in flight um, using using this little thing on the back of there. Which is, which is really, really, really awesome if you, if you ask me. So a massive tool, massive, massive tool for me uh, in the job that I do, in the business that I run this uh, this, uh, this drone is. I would, uh, don't know where I'd be without this thing. It's freaking awesome. So yeah, there's my old graphics card, which I believe I had last year, the 5850, which you guys told me to get rid of, which I have. Um, I've now got an Nvidia, but you guys need to watch my computer setup video uh, on, on my new channel, on my uh, tech channel, if you guys want to see my computer specs. So uh, there's my fake penny board and my skateboard. Here is my GNG GR16 um, airsoft gun, chrome mode, and that is my airsoft pistol. I have them mounted there just because they, well, they they look they look fairly cool. Um, here's a beanbag and obviously my other bed. Uh, there is another Philips shoe lamp, my guitar, I used to play guitar a lot, and three, uh, four of my watches actually, my old G-Shock. Uh, I'm currently wearing a G-Shock right now, as you can see, uh, one of the top, top, NG shocks. That was a bottom NG shock, um, and then here's three of my other watches: a Fossil, uh, an Adidas, and a Calvin Klein watch. Just there. Here are some lenses for an iPhone. So what you can do is you can put these around your iPhone lens, and it turns them into a fish eye. I think that's a fish eye, and I think that's a wide-angle lens. So uh, yeah, they're pretty cool to mess about with. There is my Canon battery charger for my 650, which is what I'm using now. And here are my Bose in-ear headphones. Now these are some killer headphones. These headphones are what I uh, what I uh, what are driven by the DAC that's over there. I showed you guys it uh, a little bit earlier. I think it was just if I can pull focus just on on the edge of there, um, the DAC. Uh, and these are my portable earphones, and they're they're just they're just crazy. They're they're they're, they're, they're insane. Expensive, but insane. So yes, this is my high-rise uh, iPad stand with my iPad 2, um, iPad iPad. Uh, what is it? An iPad Mini 2 with Retina display uh, with the custom engraving on it. I don't know if you're able to see, but it actually has my name engraved on the back. This is a 32 gig model. Uh, and I just use this for controlling the hue lights. So I can actually show you guys now. If I go into the Philips Hue application, what I can do is press all off. And then it turns all the lights off pretty much. There was a light up there and then the TV's lights have gone off behind there. And then if I turn them, click on uh, blue rain is what I like to use. Then as you can see they were back on and they're all they're all blue and they're creating a nice light on, on, the, on the ceiling which is, uh, which is fairly cool. So yeah, you've got all these presets you can use. You can create your own presets. Um, and have your own sort of sort of scenes, I think they're called. Um, so so yeah, that's the Philips Hue. I might do a video that, on that soon. So there may be a link on the screen now or in the description about a review. But for now, I haven't. Uh, anyway, this is my 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro top spec model. Um, I just use this for, for I take I take this to, to when I'm doing client work and I do a little bit of editing on it when I'm not near my computer. It's an absolutely gorgeous machine. Uh, screen quality is is phenomenal, um, and, and I just love how, how portable it is. And I just I've got a few stickers on there. Uh, I love Rode. Um, I, that came with my blue, uh, sorry, my Rode microphone, which Rode sent me out for review. Uh, and there is my passport. I'm actually in the process of booking a holiday uh, uh, for July next year with the boys. Uh, me and the boys are going on a lads' holiday to Marbella in Spain. Um, it's going to be messy. But yeah, anyway, what's on here? A business card. And I think in that bag there's some more lenses and stuff. 
Um, but on the other side of my bed, let's go and have a look and see what's on here. Here is my iPhone 6 Plus messages from Domino's and my Barney friend. My Barney friend. Um, and here's here's my here's my uh, Instagram and stuff. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I've literally just put a photo up uh, of me just recording the recording the setup video. As you can see. So uh, that was uh, that's pretty cool. You guys are absolutely loving the setup video. So you guys can follow me on on. Uh, on uh, Instagram if you'd like, it's Alex from Mars. there'll be a link on the screen and uh, that is my phone in the Belkin stand as you can see I like to stand my I like to stand my devices up as you guys you guys can, can clearly see, I like, my, I like my devices nice and standing up uh, iPhone SIM removal tool and these are two more remotes that control the main lights on the ceiling and the LEDs that are not Philips Hue lights so uh, yeah over here we've just got some cologne, aftershave, three other phones, an iPhone 3G, an iPhone 4, and an iPhone 5 that has been colour labbed and bent. As you can see, when all the cons when all the conspiracy went round that you could bend an iPhone, uh, you could bend an iPhone 6 Plus. We actually bent an iPhone 5 just to just to prove that it wasn't just 6 Pluses you could bend. It's literally any you can bend anything. Like give me your grandma's cordless phone and I could bend it. Is is the catchphrase that goes round. But as you can see, that that is. That is properly bent, that phone. It's not just an iPhone 6 Plus. I could bend any freaking phone I wanted to. Um, that is my Hawaii um, 4G mobile hotspot. And two signed footballs. Well, not two signed footballs. One signed football by Middlesbrough FC and a, and a rugby ball. And uh, this load of boxes and things. And my aircon unit. You've got to stay cool when you're gaming. But um, yes, I do believe, I do believe, guys, we've come to the end of the setup video. This has been it. This has been this has been it. This has been 2015 setup video. As you guys know, I'm moving house in the next sort of two or three months. So definitely make sure you subscribe and you've dropped a like rating for for any future videos that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'll probably will do another setup video um, very soon when we move into the new house. Uh, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But this is my setup for 2015 for for the most part of 2015. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Okay, I've been recording for over 28 minutes and so my camera automatically stopped recording. But um, yeah, make sure you subscribe for any new stuff and, and blah de blah and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions then the comment section is the place. You can also hit me up on Twitter, Snapchat me or do whatever you guys would like to. Um, all, all my social links are in the description. So yeah, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome again and I will see you guys in my next video. Adios. Right, you're, you're sitting there. So you ready then Jacob? Yeah. What we're doing today, answering questions. Yeah. People have asked us some questions and we're going to answer them aren't we? Do, a joke. do you want to do you want to tell them your joke? Yeah. Okay. Apparently he's got, got got a good joke that he wants to tell you guys. Go on. What's your joke, Jacob? What's a house with nothing inside it? I'm not sure. What is a house with nothing inside it? A stupid old house.